Hello and welcome back. Here's nature's message for today. Now, for what I see here, you have the grounded card or the ground card. So, right off the bat, nature is saying that you're out of balance. Right now, you're literally out of balance. You either have ascended spiritually and your old self is confused about the new you or you was on your ascension and with all the things going on in the world, you reverted back to a lot of your old ways, but you ascended spiritually. So, what nature wants you to know now is that you need to ground. You need to get your head out of the clouds, but remain spiritual. What I mean by getting your head out of the clouds is you need to begin to have a foundation for the new you. You need to have and create a foundation of the new you. But the old you and the new you need to stand side by side wherever you're going to ground so that it could be balanced. See, if one's on the ground and one's rising to the top, that's imbalance. If one is climbing the mountain and the other one is not moving, it's imbalanced. What I mean by climbing a mountain is if you're facing problems or opposition and your spiritual self is trying to solve that problem while your old self is still trying to say, no, I'm scared. That's imbalanced. It's going to take both of you to balance you into a new person. It's just like an egg and a sperm. One is, one is from a female, from that energy, and one is from the masculine energy. So you got masculine and feminine energy, which is yin and yang, which is God and the devil. You see what I'm saying? I'm gonna say God and the devil. I would say more Jesus and the devil, because the creator could do whatever, but he has a creator, but we ain't gonna look for that. The thing is, they have to balance. They meet. When the egg and the sperm meet, they become one thing, you. They become you. That's how you got here. Your egg from your mom and the sperm from your dad met and created one thing. Well, guess what? Your physical body that was here, that's one thing, okay? That's the physical you, emotional you, that's you. But then you got a spiritual that has been, it has no concept of time. So it could, it could, it could visit the past or the future right now and still be here all at the same time. That's why it's in the spirit realm and you feel it. That's, it's you. You're vibrating on a higher level. But the lessons that you're learning on this planet in this physical body, those lessons are getting fed to your spirit which allows your spirit to ascend even higher. So as you ascended, the reason why you're ascending because you're making it through problems. If you made it through C-19, you have that experience that you didn't have. And it took tougher spiritual growth to get through it. So it ascended, it got strong. It's like your spirit, it's like you in the weight room and your spirit getting the benefits. And as your spirit get the benefits, it helps you physically. But you doing the workout. Ooh, speaking of grounded and speaking of workout, 
nature is saying, you need to get more serious about being in shape. Your life depends on it, literally. Your life literally depends on you being in shape. Panic attacks, heart palpitations. You have to ground, which means you have to take care of the body. Now, we also have the mole. Now, the mole is an interesting little character. He's an interesting animal. When you, when you talk about mole energy, see, when we look at the mole, mole energy is teaching you how to dig for more insight in your life. Moles typically stay underground consistently digging. Digging is another word for searching, looking for food, looking for water, looking for new shelter, seeking, consistently seeking, and moles are blind, which means you might not be able to see what your spirit sees because you're not that spiritually awakened yet. So you can't see what your spirit see, but your spirit is multidimensional. It see the future and right now. You see what I'm saying? That's why it's important to be connected to your spirit so you can hear what it's saying. That's your guide. And your spirit vibrate with other spirits at the same vibrations, like your ancestors, so they could get your spirit could get their vibe and that spirit could get that information to you. You see what I'm saying? That's why you gotta be in tune with your spirit, not your girls, not your dudes, not your grandmothers. You have to be in tune to your spirit to hear what it's getting. And as your spirit continues to seek, what is it seeking? It's not seeking to watch basketball and to learn the new scores. 